So I have this friend. He was looking for a high-end condominium to rent because, well, his current place is a little bit too small. So he's looking for a new place and he's shopping around. And so he meets a lot of property agents and property agents love this guy because, well, if they rent the unit to him, it's big profit margins for, for the agent. And so the guy was looking around and so there was this agent that was about to show him a place, um, this place. Uh, brings my friend up to the place, uh, to, the, to the condominium. And straight away starts talking about, oh, wait, let me show you the view. This is the view. It's fantastic. Opens the door and says, oh, look, from this apartment, you get to see the palace. My friend looks at him and says, so? And then the agent was taken aback and he was like, in his head, he's probably thinking, so? It's great. It's nice. It's fantastic. How? Huh? So? And yeah, so my friend is going, so? And, and the agent was, was stunned for a while and, okay, well, 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 let me show you something else. So goes over to the master bedroom, opens the balcony door and says, from the master bedroom, you have a view of a nice big field. And my friend then goes, so? And again, the property agent was stunned, he was like, but it's a nice big field. The people like views like this and... But my friend was like, so? Right. So here's the lesson to be learned, guys. If let's say you want to sell something to someone, you better get to know what he wants to buy. Don't sell something he doesn't want to buy. Sure, my friend, he wants to buy a condominium. That's why he's there. But if the salesperson keeps trying to sell my friend on the view, my friend is not going to buy. So in your case, Whatever you're selling in the marketplace, make sure when you're in front of a customer, when you're in front of a prospect, make sure you find out, find out what is it that they really want to buy. If it's not the view, stop selling the view.